Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Libra in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for September 2019. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages will... <clears throat> Sorry. I was like... <laughs> so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below. Okay, Libra, let's see. Libra. Okay, I do feel that um, this is not for all of you, but it is for a couple of you that you have um, separated from uh, from someone. Okay. Um, you felt that you had a future with this person. Temptation, the devil energy. Something was not right in your relationship, okay? Something was going wrong. I'm also getting uh, that there was another person involved. Not for all of you, okay? For those of you that another person was involved, you know about this. I feel that it was not a secret. Yeah, okay. And um, I feel here that for you were the temptation, Libra. Okay, you were the temptation. And again, this message is not for all of you. And please have in mind that whatever I say can go the other way around. Okay, okay, let's go. Yeah, uh, some of you are, are leaving this behind and moving forward. It's not enough for you. It's not enough for you just being in temptation, okay? On the, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. As I said, you want more than just being in temptation. You want, you want a relationship, Libra, with this person. You want this person to offer you stability. And I'm feeling that because they were not offering you this, you decided to move on. I'm hearing it's not enough. This is not enough, I want more. Let's see your card. The Knight of Pentacles. Things were going really slow. Like, really, really, really slow. Maybe this person also promised you a commitment. I'm sensing a third energy here. I'm sensing a third energy, okay? Because this person was promising you, maybe they told you that they are going to leave their husband or their wife to be with you, Libra. And this was not happening. Justice. The Two of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting a lot that a lot of you made, um, you finally made the decision for them and walked away. The Page of Swords. 
strength card. The King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. And the Magician. This person, it, it could be that you're dealing with, uh, with an earth sign. This person was not willing to make this decision. They were avoiding this. They were avoiding to choose a path. Wow. Temptation again. And the Hermit. Okay. I want to clarify the page of swords. I strongly feel that this person told you they ask you to wait for them. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it doesn't have to be that this person is in another relationship, okay? But they have definitely a block. I would say a block moving this forward. Like, yeah. Let's let's clarify the page of swords. For Libra, the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords. A lot of you had a message from this person, like you can, like you had a conversation, and you did not like what you heard, like you did not like what you, what this person told you, vice versa. I feel, Libra, that you were expecting more out of this. Yes. Or they were. Seven of Swords. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the energy is a little bit uh, weird. Okay? It's not that positive, I'm going to be honest with you. And this is not for all of you, please, okay? This is a general reading. But I'm getting strongly here that you have decided to end this, to walk away, to end things between the two of you, like, because as I said, this was not taking you where you wanted to go. And I'm feeling a lot of promises that were never really like, yeah. You invested time, Libra, in this. You invested time, you invested energy. And the truth is that it did not, you did not reap. You did not reap what you have sown. This is what I'm hearing. Because I, I'm sensing a lot of unfairness here. Yeah, strongly third energy. Strongly third energy here. Libra, someone here is in a committed relationship. Someone here is married. Okay? They had you in their life. I feel that they promised you a lot of things that they could not deliver. And because of that, you decided to end this, uh, yeah, to end it. Now, the thing here is that, yes, exactly. You decided to end this because this person was not willing to make a choice. This person was not willing to, willing to take, make a decision. So you walked away. Now, because you have walked away, you have caused a tower moment for this person. That was very necessary. I strongly sense that this person liked you, had feelings for you, you were the temptation, yes you were, or they were, okay? 
This emperor here has in his mind temptation. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that, but you stirred a lot of um, emotions in this person. Because I'm getting that this person was, was, was a bit on, uh, like, like on the surface. You understand what I mean? Like they were lacking depth, very superficial. It's like now that, that they don't have you around, that they don't have you, they don't have this temptation, this, this devil energy, like this attachment, this, this, this I, I don't like what I'm hearing. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to say this though. It's not gonna sound very nice, but it's, it's like they lost their, their, their favorite toy. I know it doesn't sound nice at all, but this is how this person was 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 viewing you. It's not nice. Like you were their toy. They had fun playing with you. Yes, of course. Now that that they don't have their toy, they feel empty. This is an, a, a masculine energy that is a bit um, screwed up. That's why this happened. That's why you walked away. That's why you, you, you want to walk away. Because you're not a toy. You have feelings. You have emotions. And you're not willing to allow this person to treat you like a toy. Or second best, or I don't know what. By Libra, by, by making this choice and, and ending things with this person, as I said, you stirred a lot within them. I feel strongly that now they're viewing this relationship, they're viewing you, the relationship. They're also viewing feminine energy in general in a different way. They were used, they were used to view Okay, I hope this makes sense. They were used to viewing feminine energy in a specific way. Very like on the surface. And I'm not gonna lie, they were also viewing you this way. They felt, intuitively they felt that you were different, but they treated you the same way as they would treat any woman, but you're not like any other woman. And now that things have ended between the two of you, they, they feel it, like they feel it. They feel it, Libra. And I feel that justice here is, 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 is karmic justice. This is karmic justice. They miss you, the lovers. They miss the love. They miss the, 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 the passion, yes. They do miss the, they miss the passion, but what they really miss, what they really miss is love. The love that you gave them unconditionally. It's like now they're realizing and they're separating those two things, lust and love. They're understanding the difference. They're feeling the difference now that you are gone. And this person could be in another relationship or maybe not. They don't have to be in a relationship. But they, will, they, will, they were definitely not fully accepting this relationship as they should. 
because they didn't know how to do it. As I say, they were used to in a specific manner, a specific way. But this is changing. It is changing. And it had, it, 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 it took, it, it took, like, you had to go. You had to end it things for them to realize what you truly mean, who you truly are. Yes. I want to clarify. We also have the King of Wands, uh, okay? This is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I want to clarify the King of Wands. Eight of Wands. And the world card, they want to end separation with you because they love you. And the king of cups on the bottom of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And this is also someone that is in love. This king of wands here, that doesn't have to be a fire sign. The king of wands is the king of action. With the eight of wands is telling me here that this king is about to make take some action and, and communicate with you. Like... I feel that they want to open the door again with you. And why? But why? Not because of sex or no, because they love you. They enjoy having sex with you because there are feelings involved. It's like with you, it has a meaning. It's not just eating, it's, it's, it's not like eating spaghetti or eating beef. I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying, okay? I'm sure you do. Of course you do. You are gourmet. You are gourmet. Okay. Four of Pentacles, you see? This person was holding back. That's why we have also the Five of Cups here. Feeling the loss, feeling the pain. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This is the energies of loss. Thank you. And the Sun card. This energy is ending. This energy of holding back, the energy of, like, I'm not, I'm not ready, we cannot be together. Like, all these things, like, all this energy of, of blocks that are created by us, by them. Yeah, you know what I mean? They, they created blocks. How are we going to do this? How can we be together? It could be also, Libra, that both of you have partners. This is very strong. This is very deep. You are meant to be together. Okay? Because you share unconditional love for each other. And to be honest here, I'm getting that nothing and no one can fulfill you as this person. And they, they feel the same way. Nothing and no one can fulfill them like you do. Like you, it's like a puzzle, like the pieces, two pieces of puzzle. Like they come together and they, they, they match, they click so perfectly. This person wants to get back together with you. And they know that they have to make changes and they have to make decisions. Let's see what message will come through from Spirit.
for Libra. In September 2019, Libra. Let go. Yeah, Libra, this is what you, this is what you did. You, you did let go. That's why this energy is returning to you. Okay? Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit, as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. I feel that this relationship is protective, protected from spirit because there were a lot of blocks and one of those blocks was another person and this is not for all of you but for a lot of you okay and I'm feeling Libra that the moment you, that you let go the moment that you did let go finally because it was so hard to let go because you knew you felt that this was your person Soon you let, as soon as you did let go, this person, is coming, this person is coming towards your way. They are coming. Let's see what's the advice from spirit. And I'm, I just heard that they're not coming empty handed. So there are going to be changes. It's not going to be the same. No. You're not going to repeat the same cycle with this person. Because this person has changed. And you also have changed. You have grown, matured emotionally. Okay, let's see what's the advice from Spirit for Libra, please. And one more. Yes, thank you. Two more. Okay, first card for you is be mindful with your money, honey. Are you spending above your means? Avoiding the reality of your bank account? Shopping to numb any negative feelings or pain? It may be time to clean up your relationship with money. Let go of the fear and shame around your finances and take responsibility for your future today. Any unwise decisions you make, you've made in the past are behind you. Seek guidance where needed and keep the big picture of your financial well-being in mind. Remember, money saved is money earned. Reconsider your commitments. I, I really believe that you, 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 you went through this energy. You went through this energy. That's why you did let go. Have you peeled so much on your plate that there is little room for you? Identify what truly matters and graciously decline the rest. There's a universe of meaningful opportunities on the other side of no. In fact, every no makes space for the perfect yes. Your freedom is closer than you think. You did let go. You freed yourself. Yes. Stop comparing. Apples don't compare themselves to oranges. Stars don't compare, don't compete with other stars. They know there's room for all to shine in this ever-expanding universe. So embrace your differences. Celebrate your quirks and your kinks. Bring your fullest expression of self forward and champion others when they do the same. Okay, now the message that I'm picking up here is that your situation, Libra, is different okay so there are a lot of people out not a lot of people out there can understand you or get you okay so when you talk about this person or this relationship you know i would say talk to people that do understand you and do get you and they don't criticize you not because because of the energy it's like keep it safe this is what i want to say this is what i'm feeling okay this is what I'm feeling strongly. Keep it safe. Even though this relationship is protected, I'm sensing strongly this, okay? Now let's see what, what the frequency of the energy is going to surround you in September 2019. <laughs> okay, and one more. It's funny when cards fly out of the decks. <laughs> 
It's like someone is like pushing them out of the deck. Like, uh, it's, it's so weird. The guardian angel, I told you this relationship is protected. I feel the lightness of my being. I feel protected and I feel all of the forces that surround me serve me the best way that they can. Transformation of negativity to peace. Oh, it's so beautiful, Libra. I find freedom in the here and now. I trust the changes that are taking place in the moment, inner and outer journeys, because there are a lot of things that are taking place at this moment, okay? And you're not aware of it all, right? So, I say yes to the situations, circumstances, and conditions of life. Self-realization or self-knowledge. Yes. Okay, let's see. Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, September 2019. For Libra, please. Libra. Emergency. Emergency. The frequency of emergency invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and, one, and wonderment. And to, watch the, and, and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. That is beautiful. Wow, like... You, you uh, Libra, you have changed this person's life. Like totally, you have made this person view life in a very different way that they were used to. Vice versa, of course. Strong soulmate energy here. Strong soulmate energy, and uh, even though we didn't see the Six of Cups, I feel that you are soulmate life partners. You know. Now they know. Libra, this is what I got for you. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter.